Welcome to day four, session one, and the Prevy on Words video for Peter got out of the boat. And the aim is to make a boat to float on the water of God with significant decorations both inside and outside. And to think why Peter got out of the boat and why God might be asking us to get out of the boat or why the disciples remained in the boat and why God might be asking us to remain in the boat. So for this you're going to need uh, the lower half of a cardboard egg box. Uh, the plastic kind uh, don't work because you can't stick anything onto them. But uh, th this is the ideal thing. But you can use all sorts of other things. Um, you could use the bottom of a box that a, a, a smartphone or lots of digital things come into come in nowadays. Um, that will work just as well. Uh, but I'm going to use the, the egg box for this demonstration. As well as the, the egg box, um, if you happen to have any um, acrylic paint of any sort, or household paint, um, that, that might be quite useful because it, you can put it on um, not only to colour your boat, but also to make it more waterproof when you try to float it on the water. Uh, because these holes are high up, um, it, it can float quite all right, even though it's got holes going all the way through. The other thing you're going to need is uh, a glue of uh, some kind. Um, I've been using uh, PVA glue, uh, ordinary school glue, and a brush or a spreader. And you'll need a brush for putting the acrylic paint or the household paint on as well. And then you'll need Anything you've got in the way or that you could use for, for collage. Uh, this is actually a kitchen paper that I've been doing something else on and this was the spare acrylic ink on the kitchen paper. Um, kitchen paper with food colouring is, uh, is excellent too. You can cut that up and it sticks on well. Um, anything that you've got in the way of, of old bits of, uh, of paper that around that you can use which will stick on. Um, it has to have a paper back or, or it won't stick on very well. Um, but uh, even sort of bits of um, ribbon or um, I happen to have some sparkly bits left over from something else. So um, I could use those too. Um, if you have any, any little stickers that you want to put on, um, you might want to put, uh, um, this is this glitter, I don't even see it very well. Um, it's uh, biodegradable glitter, so you can use that with the glue to um, to, to stick on too. So the, the the possibilities are as endless and as great as your imagination, really. Uh, and because this has these two door bits in the middle, you might want to put in a um, a, a mast of some sort um, because you can just stick stick it in there and and, and a sail if you feel that that would be the right thing to do. Um, got a number of odd things around for doing that. So the idea first of all is to de uh, decorate um, the inside. Uh, I'll do the inside before you do the outside because you can't hold a messy outside while you do the inside. And um, You're going to be decorating the inside uh, to represent you. So what the colours and the patterns on the inside, your side, represent for you. And then what were the colours and the patterns on the outside, God's side, represent for you. So you can decorate them with whatever you feel be right. Um, but the useful thing about the, the, the acrylic paint or the household paint is uh, that it um, that does make it waterproof, which um, and then you can stick things on the outside of that. Um, and also, this, this is a little box I've, I've already started, so I've painted acrylic on the outside and the inside, um, and then I'm going to stick things on. Um, So the thing is to do this fairly slowly, so I should go around your house and gather together all the things that you want to use before you start, because it can be very distracting if you go off and look for materials um, once you've started, and the train of thought and what the, uh, the Holy Spirit's put in your mind um, would dis dis disappear. So I've got one that I've already started. And I've started, as you can see, decorating the inside. Um, I painted it with acrylic paint. I was just using acrylic paint, so um, it's not necessarily the colours I would choose. But you can see I've then stuck bits of um, kitchen paper in, which have got food colouring on. 
and then on the outside I decided to make God's side blue and I started sticking bits of kitchen paper on that and I decided that I was going to paint the holes in the middle gold and I thought well why, why do I feel this should be gold and then I thought well that's the hidden glory of God you can't see it when the boat is floating but it's there and then some of these little stickers I had had little hearts on so I had the hearts coming out from the golden bit and up and over onto my side but yours will be as different as mine is from this box when I started what you do will be something totally different to mine so you stick things on the inside to represent you but ask the Holy Spirit to show you what to put on the inside and um, and also to guide your mind as to why the, 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 you're, you're putting that in. For instance, in mine, you'll notice I've got yellow on one side and red on the other, or orange. And I haven't really thought why that is, but I know, because I haven't done this as a meditation, done it rather quickly, um, but I know that if I go on thinking about it and if I go on working on this, um, that will become clearer to me. But it doesn't always become clear when you're doing it. Sometimes it can be days and days later, or it can be even something somebody else says that makes you realise what it is that you've got. Uh, 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 because of these, I was just talking about putting on a, you could put on a mast, and um, I've, in this case I put a little flag on. I happen to have these stars left over from one of my daughter's birthdays, I think, a long time ago. So you could put, put that in, put a little hole at the top. And then I was thinking, actually, I'd found some other stuff, which from my point of view, I suddenly thought, actually, I rather like that. And um, when I began to think about why I like that, I thought, well, maybe it's something to do with the Holy Spirit blowing the boat along. And you can't really see the Holy Spirit. But whatever you do will be quite different, and you might make it into a catch, have a twin, mo a twin mastered boat. And then sit with it. For as, uh, uh, quite a long time holding it and ask the Lord whether you're supposed to be like Peter and get out of a boat or whether you're supposed to be like the other disciples and stay in a boat and then ask him what kind of boat is it? What part of your life is represented by this boat? It may be something very obvious to you or it might be something much less obvious. So, so spend quite a lot of time thinking. You may only get a sense where it's something to do with about getting out, or it's something to do with get, about remaining, and then ask the Holy Spirit to make it that clear to you over time. Just, just uh, sit with it. And uh, when you've finished, you could put something in it to represent you. Um, I've got a little stone here, um, which I, I thought I might put in because it's stripy, and, uh, but it might be a shell, it might be, it might be absolutely anything, mightn't it? Couldn't, it really might be a pipe cleaner, who knows? Um, but ask the Lord what you could put in to represent you yourself inside your side of the boat. And then you can take it and you can, if, you, if you're by a river or uh, um, the sea, you could take it and actually float it out when you're out for your daily exercise and and watch what happens. Or you might like to fill the sink full of water. Or when you're having a bath, if you have bath, and I know other people don't nowadays, but if you do, you might like to take it in the bath with you and sit and watch what happens. And ask the Holy Spirit to uh, to, to be with you while you're thinking. Remind yourself of why you coloured it like that on the inside, or however you did it, and why you coloured it the way you did on the outside and what the mast might represent if you've put a mast in and what the uh, um, sail might represent so all those things uh, um, and then just watch it um, thinking of those things which are important and the most important thing in some ways is to remember that the god side rests on the water and the water in this case is representing god so I hope you really enjoy that uh, that meditation, and uh, yes, it can be a, a very rewarding one. Just just sitting and decorating these is a is a rewarding thing on its own.